Hey guys, it's John Olympian Exotics here. Um, here we have two of the water dogs that are actually transforming into tiger salamanders right now. So you can see the um, gill structure that used to be there is actually, oh, stupid phone, is actually uh, disappearing on us. And um, the colors are starting to come in. When they're the water dog, they're just straight grayish, brownish color. Um, it keeps giving me a hard time about focusing but um, you can see the yellows are starting to come in and the patterning is starting to come in the more camo patterning but yeah so this one is almost complete you can see the gill structure is almost completely gone the um, eyes also move up towards the top of the head and they come kind of become more buggy at the top and they actually go for air rather than um, using their gills to breathe so very interesting. This is actually my first time watching these guys transform, so pretty cool. Um, we do still have water dogs available. Um, they're on the website. And one person did ask me, I do not know why this is giving me such a so much grief about focusing. I keep turning the autofocus off. But um, this one is a male right here. You can see the bulge at the base of the tail. Where is it? Right there. That bulge at the base of the tail actually indicates that it's a male. Let's see if we can get aside. Yeah, you can't really see it at this angle. But this one over here looks much more like a girl. So I'm guessing that's a girl. And this one right here is a boy. So pretty cool. These are actually a little small for tiger salamanders. I think just in their uh, water dog stage they weren't pumped up too much. So they're a little smaller. They are some of the smaller uh, examples out of the batch of water dogs that we picked up. So my guess is that they will still grow a little bit more in adult in the uh, fully transformed tiger salamander stage, but I would guess that they're probably going to stay a little smaller because they didn't really get fed really heavy in their uh, water dog larval stage. But yeah, very cool. So these guys are actually going to a uh, water partial land area, so that way if they want to get out of the water, they can. Whereas all the water dogs are still in the fully, fully aquatic setup. So I figured I'd just do a quick video before they went ahead and trans, uh, transferred into the uh, new enclosure. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I definitely think this is really cool, so I hope you guys do too. But anyhow, have a great day. Thanks for watching.